Hey everyone, Rich Curtis from Newmark here, and today we're gonna take an exclusive look at the world's most popular and most affordable DJ controller yet, the Mixtrack Pro 3. The Mixtrack Pro 3 is great for anybody, whether it be beginners, pros, or someone who's looking to get into the Serato DJ software for a very low price. The Mixtrack Pro 3 has a lot of new features that we've added from the Mixtrack Pro 2, those being an all sleek new design, it's all black, looks really nice. And we also have a couple of brand new metal platters with LED rings around the top. You'll also see we move the pads from the top of the unit to the bottom, so that way you can avoid unwanted platter hits. And we added in our strip search, so that way you can search tracks or tweak effects on the fly. We have some pitch sliders here, and the pitch sliders are now 100 millimeters, and you can use those to beat match your tracks. And if that wasn't enough, we added in a dedicated filter knob for each channel, so you can use that for your rises and drops and transitions. Okay, so now that we've went over some of the features, let's dig in. So first thing you wanna do is make sure your Mixtrack Pro 3 is connected to your computer using the provided USB cable and you've opened Serato DJ Intro. First, we're gonna use the browser knob and we're gonna spin that and we can use that to select whichever track we wanna play. Now, if we're not in the right crate and we wanted to go back, we can just hold shift and we can press the button down and now we can select the correct crate and then from there, press the button and select the track. When we found the track we wanted, we can go ahead and press the load button, and we have two load buttons, one for the left deck, one for the right deck, or decks one and two. And so what we do is we press load one, we loaded that track over to the left deck, and from here we can go ahead and play the track back using transport controls. Now you have a few controls in here in our transport section. We have our typical play pause. We also have a cue button, and the cue button is very useful if you wanted to start the track right from the beginning. And what you can do is you can hold the cue down and it will start to play the track back. And then when you feel that everything's matched or if you're listening to this through your monitor, from there you can go ahead and press play pause and the track will continue to play through its entirety. Um, we also have a sync button, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute. Uh, over to the metal platters, we have really nice all metal platters now and they do a lot of different functions. The center is scratch, just like you might be familiar with, and the outside is nudge. I can go ahead and shuttle with the outside ring. Okay? Now there's a few other functions you can use the wheel for as well. I can go ahead and press this wheel button and turn it off and now the whole platter acts as a nudge. Great for those house musicians, someone who wants to mix house or something that not be, uh, might not be scratch related. From there, we can do a few other things. We can also set our loop regions and things with the wheel, which we'll talk about that in just a minute. Let's move over to the mixer. In the center, we have a two-channel mixer here, and we have our basic controls, like our three-band equalizer. So we have our treble. We have our mids. And our bass. Pretty self-explanatory. But the cool thing about the Mixtrack Pro 3, and which is an exclusive to the Mixtrack that you won't find in our competition, is the filter knob. The filter knob is essentially a high pass and low pass filter built into one knob. And this is gonna help me with rises, transitions, and so many different things. Take a listen. And then we have low pass to the left. High pass and low pass. Really, really fun. And you're gonna get one of those on each track. Now here we have our uh, cue listen. So we can turn these buttons on our headphone, little lit headphone buttons, and this is gonna give us our cue. So whichever one of these buttons are on is gonna route that audio through our provided headphone jacks uh, in the front. We actually have a quarter inch and an eighth inch in the front, and that's gonna route that through there. So that's how you do that. Now in the center strip here, this is our main control strip. Okay, so from here, you have a master gain, which is our master volume. We also have a Q mix, which is gonna decide do I wanna to listen to the right deck or the left deck through my headphones at that time. And we have a Q gain, which is basically your headphone volume. And let me tell you, you get a lot of volume out of this little guy. So if you like it loud, this is the piece for you. Okay, moving on, uh, let's talk about these pads. These pads are absolutely fantastic and we can do a lot of different things. One of the things we can do with this is be able to set a loop. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our pad mode button and we're gonna select manual loop here, which you can see it's silk screened right above the pad. I go ahead and hit manual loop and I can set a loop anywhere in the track. I press the first pad to set it in and the second pad to set it out. And it's that simple. Now we have looping going on inside Serato, and at any point I can go ahead and remove or turn on that loop with this button right here. We also have the ability to do half time and double time, or you know, uh, multiply or divide that loop by using this button here. Another mode we have is we can hold pad mode, we can go into auto loop mode, which is really fun and great for, for performance-based things. Uh, it's also great if you don't wanna think about where the loop's gonna be. And we have a few different regions here. We can go A16, 30 seconds, and so on. 
we press it to turn it on and press it to turn it off. And the third pad mode we have here is the sampler mode. So from here I can hold my pad mode button down, select sampler, and now I can add my own samples in right over the currently playing track on that deck. So now let's talk about beat matching. The Mixtrack Pro 3 comes with two long throw 100 millimeter pitch sliders on here. And this makes it really easy to be able to match two beats together. So first, let's go ahead and play something back on our first deck. Okay. And next we're gonna go ahead and play something back on our second deck. And you can hear, it's a total train wreck. But all we have to do is use these pitch sliders, use our ears, and we can go ahead and slide this up right into time. Just like that, it's real simple. Now we also have another method that we can use to sync and that's using these built-in sync buttons here. Uh, what you do is you press play on a deck that you'd like to start playing back and whatever deck you're gonna sync first will be your master deck. That's gonna be the deck that's gonna set the main tempo for the other track. So we're gonna go ahead and press play on our other deck. You can hear they're way out of sync. And to sync them up, all I'm gonna do is hit sync on the master deck and then double tap sync on the slave deck. And you're gonna see those will be linked right up together. just like that. Next, you'll see on the top here, we have our strip search. And the strip search is gonna allow us to search through a track very easily. So um, as you can see, when I touch this at first, nothing happens. And that's as a protection for you. If you're playing live, you don't wanna accidentally hit this and skip through your track. Nobody wants that. What you wanna do is you wanna be able to hold shift and this will actually help you skip right through your track. Let's see what that sounds like. And what's cool is Serato DJ is actually gonna automatically bump you to the first beat in that measure, so it's never gonna sound like it's coming in off time. You can even use that while you're synced as well. Now some other functions that this does is effects. So you can see we have three effects buttons right here. And we can preset those effects in the Serato DJ software under DJ effects. You click this little tab, it's gonna open up and you'll see all of my effects are set right there. From here if I want to enable effect, I just press the effects button on and engage my parameter. Reverb some flanger and phaser, as well as some echo, okay? Now we can use this beat knob to actually change the time division of those things. So let's say I wanted my echo to go on longer or wanted my delay to change a different you know, tap time. I can either use my built-in tap tempo or my beats knob to do that. So on the mixer down here at the bottom, you're gonna see we have a couple of nice uh, channel faders here as well as a high quality cross fader. Like I said earlier, we also have a built-in VU meter here, which is a five-stage VU, so you can make sure you're not clipping and that you're only sending clean signal out to the house. And as always, we added in the quarter-inch microphone input on the front with its own dedicated gain. So that's a quick look at the Mixtrack Pro 3. Um, a couple things that are included in the box that we didn't mention are uh, expansion pack. So it comes with a Tool Room Records expansion pack, which is gonna give you uh, a ton of very high quality audio stems. So you can use those and mix those in with your current productions. And it's also gonna come with a ton of prime loop samples. Everything from drums, loops, uh, voices, everything. It's a $200 value, it comes in the box absolutely free. Now, if you haven't cold feet about Serato, head on over to newmark.com and download our 14-day trial of Serato DJ absolutely free. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and if you like what you see on this video, don't be afraid to comment below. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you soon.